Number one, what is the value of the magnetic flux at coil two in figure 23.56 due to coil one? All right, so first thing is, um, what is magnetic flux? Well, we can take a look at this formula over here on the right-hand side to understand it a little bit. It says that the magnetic flux is going to be equal to the magnetic field passing through the wire multiplied by the area over which that magnetic field is passing through the wire multiplied then by the cosine of the angle between the area and the magnetic field. Now, when we talk about the uh, angle between the area, right, well, what exactly do we mean? We really mean the normal, the angle between the normal, okay, of the area, the normal. And you might remember this like normal force, it's like a perpendicular, right, line, essentially. So if I were to look at, let's say, coil number two down here, the normal to this particular area here is going to be perpendicular to the surface, meaning up or pointing straight down. Okay, this is almost like a coil that is lying, let's say, on the table. All right, so the normal would be pointing up. All right, now if a there is a external magnetic field now that is, let's say, directed parallel, okay, it doesn't matter, you know, up or down, the direction of the current that might be induced might you know, be, be a factor, but um, let's just say that, uh, you know, the particular magnetic field is just pointing parallel to the normal. Well, then what's the theta value between these two? Well, here, I mean, you might actually say it's 180 because they're pointing in opposite directions, but whether it's 180 or whether it's 90, we're going to have a value of cosine of 180 or cosine of zero is going to be uh, a maximum, right? It's going to be one. Okay. The other one might turn out to be negative one, but it doesn't, you know, the, what we're concerned about is the magnitude here. So when they are perpendicular to each other, so let's say, for example, here's the normal. And then we have, let's say, a magnetic field that is now, let's say, pointing this way. Okay. These make a 90 degree angle now. And the cosine of 90 degrees works out to be zippo, zero. So what that means is that when the magnetic field vector is at a 90 degree angle to the normal of the loop's area, we would then get a minimum or a zero magnetic flux, okay? So in order to answer this question, we essentially have to now figure out what magnetic flux is happening at coil two due to the magnetic field being produced by coil one. So coil one, you're thinking back to the last chapter, right hand rule number two. Notice the arrows here are moving in a counterclockwise direction, right? You can pick any particular point you want. Let's just pick the top point. The tangential current there would be pointing to the left. If you were to put your thumb to the left and you curled your fingers around this coil, you would realize that the, the direction is going to be coming out of the page inside the loop. So in other words, these are gonna be little dots. And then it's going to be going into the page on the top. Okay, so there's little X's. So now if you think about this, this doesn't help me that much with understanding, let's say what's happening at coil two. You know, the reason why is because I'm talking about, you know, this particular area. But now let's say, instead of me analyzing that part, I analyze, let's say this part. Now, it turns out the answers will be the same, but watch. So the coil, remember the current here is moving counterclockwise, so the tangential current here is moving upwards at this exact point. And we have the same thing happening, right? If your thumb is pointing up using right-hand rule number two, your fingers are going to be pointing into the page here, and then they're going to be pointing out of the page, right, inside the loop. But, you know, this extends all the way, right? So now we have to think about this. The magnetic field there is pointing into the page. But wait a minute, the normal to this coil number two is pointing up. So the question now becomes, what's the angle between this magnetic field vector and the normal? Well, it's going to be a 90 degree angle, right? You almost have to envision it like looking at it from the side, right? You got these kind of, these, you know, the magnetic field going into the page. It would create a right angle, right, between that normal. So the answer here now is going to be uh, the magnetic flux will be equal to the magnetic field multiplied by the area multiplied by the cosine of the angle between the normal of that area and the magnetic field vector 
the cosine here of 90 degrees is zero, and therefore this whole thing just goes to zero, so the magnetic flux is equal to zero. Okay, that's enough of that one. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. All right, hopefully this problem helped. And uh, if it did, give us a hand. Hit that like button. See you soon.